Good evening and welcome to the Star Technology Wrap. As always, I'm your host Rajesh Lakan and with me is Jeremy. And this week we'll be discussing the Itty Bitty Buggy, a new line of devices available at Star Computer Innovation Center. Jeremy, tell us about it. Okay, so with the Itty Bitty Buggy, what it allows is for children to have an interactive yet fun experience when it comes to learning about electronics, building and also programming. Great, tell us how it works. Okay, so how it works is with an app that you can download on any iOS or Android device. With this app come several modes and also instructions in how you can build the, the uh, different models that you see on the box here. With these models now, there are various ways in which you can control it. So now we have it in the uh, standard model right now and the mode that is currently um, in work here is the line tracing mode. That is just one out of the five modes that are offered to children. So, right now I'm in line tracing. I'll switch over to the remote control mode. So, basically what happens here is that a standard controller is now on my screen. And I can now move the buggy how I wish. So, I'll just move it forward for you. Or to the left, sorry. Then to the right, then forward. So, I'll just do a 360 there. Great. Can it be voice control as well? It can be voice control as well. So uh, let me just change that. Okay. Move forward. Stop. What's the objective of Star bringing on this new device here? Okay. Well, the objective is just to capture kids, you know, imagination and creativity through a device like this. Generally, kids don't get an opportunity to learn, but at the same time having fun, you know? So what actually happens here is that this device is fully compatible with Lego. We know Lego to be something that children love to play around with, build with, and express their imaginations through. But adding technology to that now gives them an opportunity to learn about electronics, you know, and programming. So they can effectively build whatever they see in their imagination whether it be a car, whether it be a robot, you know, whether it be a spider that's indicated here, right? And once they've built that, they can move it, they can program it to go forward, backwards, uh, how slowly they want it to move, how many steps, you know, all these are things that children can do in terms of the programming, you know, and allows them to appreciate those things from an early age. More creativity and thinking as well. Yes. Great. This device here, is it only for display purposes or you guys have it for sale? Okay, well, it will be coming on sale pretty soon, uh -huh. you know, and we're expecting that children are going to love it. It's very good. It's a very good product. Um, and I would recommend it to children around the ages of eight and above. Great. Can parents, um, given that school is currently out, can parents bring their children along to test it out, have a hands-on approach to it? Of course. Children can come and we'll be um, given a chance to hold the device, use it, uh, build something if they wish, you know, fully get engaged in it and they can tell us if they like it or not. But we, I am sure that they, are, they love the device. Great. And no charge attached to that, right? No, no. Not at all. <laughs> Great. Aside from that, what else happened in your Red Stars? Okay, so what else is happening at STARS is that uh, we have other devices that are also on showcase, uh, such as the uh, GLOBE, the STEM GLOBE. We have also uh, Einstein, which is basically a toy robot that allows you to ask him questions. He'll answer back to you in intelligent ways. You could also learn a lot from him, you know. Also, we have other things that are also, you know, that we're also planning to put out on sale. Um, all of that you can check up on our Facebook page, you know, we'll have updated information on there for you to check out. Great, well thank you Jeremy. And that's all we have for you in this week's edition of Star Technology Wrap. Do join us next week Monday for another edition.